Hey, what's up guys? Cam here from the Retro Toys Beats channel. Time for a special video today. I'm going back once again to my all-time favorite toy line of the 1980s, Mask, Mobile Armored Strike Command. Mask, of course, was a line of covert, ordinary-looking vehicles that could transform into combat machines at the touch of a button or the pull of a lever. Now, while the vehicles were the major stars of the line, the action figures of the human agents who operated them were also amazing, especially with the amount of detail that was put into them for something that was less than 3 inches in height. So today, I've put together a list of my top 5 personal favourite mask action figures. Sit back, relax, enjoy the video and let me know your thoughts at the end. Okay, number 5. Uh, I'm cheating a bit here as I've included two agents together. Ace Riker, the driver of Slingshot, and Hondo McLean, the driver of Firecracker. You see, the thing is, a lot of the mask agents have uniforms and outfits that have very fantastical design touches. Most of the time, they do indeed look like they've just stepped out of a science fiction movie. But I always felt that for the team to remain covert as agents, they shouldn't stand out too much. And that's exactly what these guys here do. They look like the most ordinary bunch of guys that you could ever come across. First up, let's take a look at Ace Riker, the driver of Slingshot. Now Ace has a very rugged outdoors look and with that jacket and boots, looks like he's about as ready to scale a mountain or stroll into a convenience store for a six pack of sodas and a bag of marshmallows. You never expect this guy to be secretly taking the fight to an international terror organization like Venom. But once he's got his ricochet mask on, he's completely ready to bring it. Now, let's hear it for Ace Riker in the comment section. What do you guys think of him? Okay, now let's check out Hondo McLean, the driver of Firecracker and who's also sharing the number 5 position with Ace Riker on my list. Now Hondo looks like he could be ready to head out for a wilderness trek, and with the addition of that sculpted binoculars around his neck, maybe even a spot of bird watching. But no one will ever suspect that this guy is secretly the tactical strategist for the entire mass team. And with his blaster mask on, he's ready to take down some Venom agents the hard way. Now what do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section on the Hondo McLean figure. Okay, it's time for number 4 on our list. And we have mask leader himself, Matt Tracker. Now this is Matt Tracker in his original Thunderhawk vehicle uniform. Now we've had different versions of Matt Tracker over the course of the Mask Toy series, but some of them have been pretty far out there, and Matt looks like he's gearing up to fight aliens from outer space. But this first version is the best of the bunch. Matt has a very stoic expression on his face, which suits his role as commander, and his uniform resembles that of a race car driver, which is perfect for the Thunderhawk Camaro car that he drives. Now even the Spectrum mask that he wears looks like that of a race car driver. As you can see, everything fits together very well. By the way, the original version of the Spectrum mask is the original shorter version that was first released. This thing is really small, almost pallet sized. And if you find yours missing, you might want to check the inside of your cat's mouth. She might have mistaken it for cat food. Alright, we're down to number 3. And we have Venom leader, Miles Mayhem. Now similar to Matt Tracker, there have been many versions of Miles Mayhem released throughout the series. But this original version, which is used in commandeering the Switchblade helicopter, is in my opinion, the best. Now Miles is in full-on war general mode in this outfit. Just look at that stern expression on his face. The piercing stare of hatred. 
the mustache. Now, the outfit is fantastic. You see all these service ribbons and pins, and let's not forget that he's wearing a tie as well. And the wiper mask completes the look perfectly. You know, I was always disappointed that the cartoon and the comics never really captured the scope of Miles Mayhem's personality as a menacing and tactically sound leader. Most of the time, he was portrayed as a buffoon. Now, there was even that one episode in the cartoon where they made his pants fall down while he was fleeing in retreat, and he was made to run in his underwear. Yeah. I mean, they didn't have to take things to that level, you know? Now, there's even an alternate version of the wiper mask, as you can see, with the mouth section of the mask exposed. Some people prefer this version because you get to see more of Miles Mayhem's evil moustache. Alright guys, we're at number 2 and here's one of my all-time favourites. Nevada Rushmore, the Native American co-driver of the Goliath truck. Nevada Rushmore is one of the most detailed mass action figures ever made. I was always fascinated by him as a kid, especially since he looked completely unlike any of the other agents. For one thing, he's bare-chested and rocking those abs like it ain't no thing. I mean, to hell with frontal body armor. This guy has a chest tattoo of an eagle to protect him. And you see all these other cool bits too on the figure, like the bone necklace, the clips in his hair, and you know what, once you get his total mask on, you know that the Venom agents won't know what hit them. In the 80s, cartoons and toys featured a number of prominent Native American characters including Marshall Bravestar, Spirit Iron Knife from G.I. Joe, and John Thunder from Centurions. Nevada Rushmore was included as one of the action figures that came with the Goliath truck and race car set. This was a larger, premium price point vehicle and not many kids in the 80s could own one. But I did have that one rich friend who did. So my earliest introduction to the Nevada character was from the playtime sessions at my friend's place. And today I'm happy to be reunited with him. So let's hear it for Nevada Rushmore in the comments section. Okay guys, drum roll. It's time for the number one spot. Let's hear it for the punk rocker bad boy Floyd Malloy from the Venom Vampire set. There's just something about the Floyd Malloy figure that's really special. Mainly because the sculptors went the extra mile to give him a totally disgruntled looking skull. This guy's like an 80s homage to rocker Billy Idol. In fact, I would be surprised if Billy Idol wasn't an inspiration. Now the facial expression, plus the very detailed work that went into his spiked hair, in addition to his don't give a damn vibe as a punk rocker, make this my personal favorite mass action figure of all time. You know, he does have some over the top bits like the armbands and the chest straps, but it's still completely in tone with his hell-raising personality. And you know, once you get his buckshot mask on, Malloy just looks even more freaking awesome. The mask and his outfit seem to flow together very well and looks like one complete piece instead of two separate units. And I like how you get to see a bit of his blonde spiky hair sticking out there as well. So what do you guys say? Floyd Malloy for the top spot. Let's see some comments. Well, that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And now that you've seen what my favorite mass action figures are, I want to know what your top five looks like. So leave me a comment with your personal favorites or just if you want to talk about anything that's mask related. Also, there's a link below for my earlier video on the top five mask toys of all time. Do check that out. Do share the videos out. And do subscribe to the channel so that we can keep this thing growing. Thank you. And I'll catch you guys again real soon.